What is up guys? We are facing Magneto on expert mode with Deadpool. So first, let's shuffle up the encounter deck here. Magneto has a one reviewed ability. Do you each player a face down encounter card? So we will start the game off with one encounter card here. Magneto has steady and toughness. And we already have the side scheme and the main scheme set up. So let's shuffle up the player deck here. And then draw up to our hand size of six. And let's see what we get. Okay. Then we definitely want the self-control. And let's Mulgan. Actually, do we want the katana? Let's let's keep the katana. We'll Mulgan discard these four cards and then draw four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, well, this is pretty good. Um, so let's use this. Self-control, double the number of resources this card generates if your identity has sustained less than five damage, and triple the resources if you have sustained no damage. So we're at full hit points, so this is three resources. This is a fourth one for a total of four, so we can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one. Let's pick the one to draw three cards. One, two, three. Okay, good thing we got the mansion here because I don't want the symbiote suit. Um, okay, let's use this as four resources when paying for a great card because the power always can count as a double. So we can play Avengers Mansion. Let's exhaust it so we can draw a card. Okay, um, do we want the Web of Life and Destiny right now? Okay, let's use this as a triple resource because it is the same effect as self-control, self-confidence, to play the Web of Life and Destiny here. When a Web Warrior ally leaves play, we can uh, draw one card with this. And then let's use Break the Fourth Wall. Discard a card from your hand. Search your deck for a Deadpool event and add it to your hand. I think we want to get, um, let's get you who here and add it to our hand. Okay, let's flip over here to uh, Deadpool. Deadpool and Manny, or Deadpool and Nick Fury will Thor for a total of one, two, three, four to clear off boarding party here. When this is defeated, it will flip over to Sabotage Master Mode, which also has three threat. Nick Fury will take a of damage. Let's use this as a resource to play yu -Hoo. Take any amount of damage up to your, your remaining hit points. So let's take three damage, drawing from nine down to six, and we can remove an equal amount of threat from the scheme. Let's take three off the Sabotage Master Mode here. This will go into the victory display when it is defeated, and then Orbo Decay here will have three threat. That will end our turn. Let's ready back up and then draw back up to our hand size of five. Okay, we got the Chimichanga truck. So we're good to flip over and just have him kill us if, if he kills us. Okay, so it is Magneto's turn. One threat to the main scheme. He's going to attack. Nick will defend. Hit him with a base of three plus a boost card here of three. So Nick Fury is defeated. After Magneto attacks, he has a force response. He places a Magni counter on the main scheme. Then he will deal us one face down encounter card for a total of two. First one is a M-Type Sentinel with guard. Last one, magnetic missile. Uh, it will surge. Defeat a Sentinel minion play and then take five damage. You may discard cards. Let's take all five damage because we have six hit points and that will surge. So we will drop from six down to one and we'll get one more encounter card here. Hope it's an attack. Okay, it's not. We have a minion here with brutality and teamwork. When defeated, discard each stun and confused status card from the building and give him a face down boost. Back to our turn. Let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Okay, another double resource here. We could get Peter Parker. No, we can't. We don't, we don't have the correct cost to pay for Peter Parker. So we could get Chimichanga and Kid pulled in. Um, let's see. What would that do for us? Okay, I think we have to do that anyways. Um, I do want to save Peter though for next turn. So this would be a double resource, so we can play the Chimmy uh, Chamba truck here. After your an identity makes a basic recovery, we can exhaust this to ready up. This would be three resources, so we can play Kid Pool. Okay, let's see here. Um, this guy is rough with his retaliate. I think. See, this will add two to the main scheme. Okay, we need that Thor from the main scheme. So Deadpool will Thor for two to clear off the main scheme here. And then Kidpool will, uh, oh, actually, should we swing or should we Thor for one? 
uh, let's attack my needle. His attacks have piercing, so we can remove the tough and do two damage to my needle to draw from 20 down to 18. That will end our turn. Let's ready back up. Let's keep Peter Parker in our hand and draw back up to our hand size of five here. Hoping for some non-physical. Okay, it's all physical. That's okay. So it is Magneto's turn. Two threats to the main scheme because Kid Pool has an acceleration token here. Magneto is going to attack us. Let's take it to the face. He's hitting with a base of three plus a boost of two. So five damage. When you will be defeated, the regenerate uh, degenerate activates. Force interrupt. Set your hit point down to one. Flip to Aki Eagle form and add one permanent acceleration token to the main scheme. My needle attacks, so he gets a magnet counter. This guy's gonna scheme now because we're in Alter Eagle, so he's scheming for one. This will go up to three. And then we get one face down and counter card, which is an M type Sentinel with guard. When he's defeated, give Manu a tough stats card. Okay. Back to our turn, let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Let's exhaust uh, to heal, so we go from one back up to our full hit points of nine. Then we can exhaust the Chimichama truck to ready back up. Okay. And then. I think the play is to, no, we get that down. We can't even do anything. Um, hmm. We can't do anything with our hand. So I think we want to use break the fourth wall. So break the fourth wall, discard a card from your hand. Let's discard uh, the heli carry here. Search your deck for a Deadpool event and then add it to your hand. So I think we want to get a maximum effort here. Um, yeah, let's get a maximum effort here. Okay, and we can shuffle up our deck here. Okay, so the question is, do we care about this thing popping? Uh, let's flip over first to Deadpool. We need to get rid of some minions here. Um, Miles can do damage. I think we need Miles to thwart, actually. So, so that doesn't flip. Um, okay, let's play maximum effort. Take any amount of damage up to your remaining hit points. Let's take... Uh, oh wait, actually we do have enough because Deadpool can Thor. And then Miles has, let's see, plus two attack. Okay, let's take five damage. So we're dropping from uh, nine down to four. And then we can do 5 damage to m type and defeat him. When he's defeated, give Manu a tough stats card. So that's maximum effort. And then we can use this as 3 resources. So we can play Spider-Man Miles Morales. When he enters play, choose sport or attack. Let's choose attack. He gets plus 2 to the chosen power. So he is going to... Actually, let's have Kid Pool swing and hit Delgado for 2. Delgado has retaliate. So he's going to hit us back for 1. Kid Pool does not take consequence damage for attacks or thwarts. Spider-Man Miles Morales will swing for four. That will defeat Delgado. And then Spider-Man takes a consequential damage. When he's defeated, discard each stun confused and give him a face down boost card here. Okay. And then Deadpool will Thor for two from the main scheme. To keep it at bay a little bit longer. That will end our turn. Let's ready back up. And then the question is, do we discard meta knowledge? Um see, are we gonna have Kid Pool block the attack for us? Or are we going to, hmm, I think we're going to take the attack and just take the uh, extra celebration token. So let's discard meta knowledge here, okay? And then uh, draw back up to your hands as a five. That was a tough decision. Okay, it is Magneto's turn, adding three threats to the main scheme, acceleration here, acceleration there. And then he's going to attack us, he gets another boost card here. Let's take it to the face. He's hitting with uh, the boost effect Exhaust Shard Denny, that's not good. He's hitting with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 damage. That would defeat us, so instead we flip to Alter Ego. And then we set our hit point down to 1, but now we can't recover. And then uh, we place a permanent celebration token. Magneto attacked us, so he gets another magnet counter. That's 3, so we remove them and discard from the encounter deck until we get a magnetic card and reveal it. Right here, it just surges, so another card. Cut off guard, discard an upgrade or support you control. Um, let's discard. I guess a chimichanga truck here. Um, or the web of life and destiny. No, we can get rid of the truck. Okay, and then we get one more encounter card. Master Magnetism, Magneto's gonna activate against us. Okay, so take the topmost magnetic card, which is this card right here. 
give it to him as a boost card. So Manny is gonna scheme with two boost cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will pop this right here. Uh, when review, place one Manny counter on here. And then if Sabotage Maximo is not in victory, victory display, it is, so nothing will happen with that. So we'll have one threat and the celebration tokens will stay. Okay, back to our turn. Let's use Avenged Mansion so we can draw a card. And now we can't use the self-preservation because we got exhausted with that boost effect. Um, getting KO out would have been great. Let's see, yeah, we can't even ready up. So I think we still want to play Cable. Uh, okay, so actually let's check our discard out. We might be able to, do we want to break the fourth wall here and get the last, this card's fire so we don't die. Yeah, we want to do that because we don't want to draw into this card's fire. So let's use break the fourth wall. This card, card from your hand, let's discard this. Search your deck for a Deadpool event, add to your hand. Let's get the discard's fire to our hand here. We shuffle up our deck, which shouldn't matter too much. Let's see here. Um, so we want to let's use this as three resources, so we can play Cable. Cable get pl Cable gets plus one attack and plus one thwart for each acceleration token on the main scheme. So he gets plus two thwart plus two attack. He will thwart for three to clear off orbital decay. When this is uh, def defeated, Magneto gets his physical strain where he loses steady now. Let me put this over here. Okay. And the cable will take a consequence of damage. Kid Pool will swing and hit Magneto for two with piercing. So that will ping off tough. And then do two damage to bring him from 18 down to 16. Spider Man Maz will swing for two to bring him from 16 down to 14. And Maz will take a consequence of damage. That ends our turn. Well, uh, actually, wait. First, let's flip over back to Deadpool here. Now that ends our turn. Let's ready back up. And then draw back up to our hand size. Oops, of five. Okay. All right. Matt Needle's turn. He's adding one, two, three, four. Threat to the main scheme. It goes up to five from one. He's going to attack us. Let's take the attack. So he's hitting with a base of three plus a boost card here of two. Uh, when we will be, be defeated, we set a hit point down to one. Flip back over to Deadpool or Wade Wilson and place a permanent celebration token to the main scheme. All right. And then Matt Needle will deal us one face down and counter card which is a minion here with toughness. And when she's defeated, give the villain a tough status card. Okay, so that's not good. And then it's back to our turn. Let's exhaust Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Okay, so this is now a trooper resource, which is really good. And we can also get Hobie Brown down. Okay, let's exhaust Wade Wilson to recover to go from one back up to our full hit points of nine. Then we wanna flip over here back to Deadpool. Um, let's see, I think we're just gonna, should we thwart from the main scheme or just let it pop? I don't know. Okay, let's have Kid Pool swing and hit this minion. He has piercing, so that'll remove the tough and then deal two damage. He doesn't take cosmo damage or attack activations or thwarts. Okay, so she has two hit points left. Um, let's have Miles swing for two. That would defeat this minion. When she is defeated, give the villain a tough status card, so Magneto will get his toughness back. And then Miles gets discarded here. Okay, we could get both the allies down. Um, let's see, I think we want to save this for next turn. Uh, we can save Hobie Brown again. And I think we just want to get Ghostfire down. Because um, we are decking out soon. And the Cable has plus uh, three Thor because of the three acceleration. So Cable can Thor for a lot right here. Okay. Let's use this as three resources when paying for a great card because the power of all of us can count to double. So we can play Ghost Spire here. Cable has plus three Thorpe with three acceleration. So he's thwarting for four. And then Ghost Spire with Thorpe for one for a total of five. That will clear this off and they will take consequential damage. Okay. And then let's see. I want to save this for Hobie Brown. Um, I think we want to discard the Yuhu. Yeah, okay, so that will end our turn. Let's ready back up. Let's discard the Yuhu, draw back up to our hand as a five, but we do deck out here. So we get a face down encounter card. And let's shuffle up the discard pile here, back to the deck.
Okay, then draw one more card, up to five. Okay, we got self-control, which is great. Um, so we could play the Katana and Hobie. Okay, so it is Magneto's turn. He's gonna add four threats to the main scheme. Actually, he's adding five because of one from here. So one, two, three, four, yeah. So with four acceleration, and it's at six. Okay, he is going to attack us. I think we want Ghost Spire to defend this attack, or we could have Kid Pool block it. Um, hmm. Let's have Kid Pool block this attack. So Manio is hitting with a base of three, plus a boost card here of three more for six damage. Kid Pool is defeated. He attacks, so he places a magnet counter here. Then uh, he reveals a face on counter card for a total of two. First one, seized. Oh, that is not good. So we're gonna view top six cards of your deck. The player uh, puts the top six cards of their deck face down underneath seized. So hopefully we didn't lose anything good that we need. This has another acceleration and three threat. Last encounter card, oh man. Exhaust each upgrade and support you control and it plays one magnetic counter in the main scheme. Okay, I think that is the last electromagnetic blast. So there's three here, we remove these. Mill until we get in a, a magnetic card and then reveal it. Attached to your identity, we cannot attack uh, Thor or recover. Um, yeah, okay. And we can spend a physical resource to discard this card. Okay, luckily we are at full hit points. We can't draw, but we can just get the maximum effort to use. Okay, so let's use this action. Exhaust your identity, spend a physical resource to discard this card. All right. And then, let's see, if we clear off all the threat in the main scheme, I think we should be okay. So since we're at full hit points, this is three resources right here. So we can use this to play Spider-Man Hobie Brown. Montage uh, generates additional resource for each acceleration token on, on here. So there are three, so this is a lot of resources, so we can play Deadpool's Katana. Okay, next let's exhaust Deadpool's Katana, take one damage, and then we hit an enemy with piercing. So we can remove the tough and then do two damage to Mag Magneto. So I remove from 14 down to 12. And then let's see, Cable has plus three attack and plus three Thor. So he could Thor for three. I mean, he could Thor for uh, four, I mean. Um, Ghost Spire could Thor two. Do we want to get the Cs? No, we don't want to do that this turn, I think. Actually, I don't think we ever want to remove that. Uh, let's see, so it's gonna be five third. We need to clear off the main scheme. Um, hmm. Okay, Cable will thwart for four off of the main scheme. So it brings down to one. He'll take consequential damage and he gets discarded. Okay, and then Hobie Brown will thwart for two. He will take two consequential damage so we can clear the main scheme off. Ghost Bar will swing and hit Magneto for two. That'll bring from 12 down to 10. And it should take a consequence of damage. That'll end our turn. Let's ready back up. And then draw back up to our hand size here of five. When we end the turn and this card's fire is in our hand, we take one damage. So we are dropping from eight down to seven here. Okay. And then, all right. So it is Magneto's turn. He's going to add five to the main scheme because that's that duration here and four more there, so it goes up to five, and if it hits one more, it flips. He's going to attack us. Um, let's have Hobie defend this attack here. So Magneto's hitting with a base of three, plus a boost card here of three. So Hobie Brown is defeated. Uh, he has interrupt whenever he uh, leaves play. This card top three cards of the encounter deck, and then do damage to, uh, to a villain for each boost icon. So we only have two, so that'll hit Magneto for two to bring him from 10 down to eight. And then we can draw a card with the effect of Web Alive Destiny because the Web War Ally left play. We got the symbiote soon. Okay. Um, and then Magneto will deal us one face down encounter card, which is Magnetically Sealed. Place two threat for each ally you control. So Ghost Spider is our only ally. So this is a four threat with the Crisis Icon. Okay. Let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. And then let's see. So this can be a double resource. It's another double. Uh, do we want to get the symbiote suit down now? Hmm. So we get Ghost Spire to our hand. But we don't have the damage for that yet. If we can do a little bit more damage, let's see. We can do one, two, three, four, five, six. And 
then, oh, if we play symbiotes too, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more damage. Um, let me see, from Miles, because I'm not sure what's left in the deck. Okay, so what's gone there? Uh, yeah, I don't think we're ready to start to gun him down. We definitely want to get Miles down. So, okay, let's think about what we want to do. So this right here can pay for Miles. And then we can also get another ally out or try to get the symbiote suit out now this turn. Um, okay, I think first we want to look through our deck to see what we have left with Ghost Spire's effect. So Ghost Spire will swing and hit Magneto for two. That will bring her from eight down to six. She will take Consequence Damage and get discarded. When she leaves play, we can search our deck for an identity-specific event and add it to her hand. So we're looking for, we have a maximum effort here. Um, oh, and we don't have, yeah, we, we only have maximum effort. One more left, and we have this card's fire here. Okay, let's get the maximum effort to our hand then. Okay, so we got maximum effort to our hand, and then, yeah, we shuffle up the deck. And since a web war ally left late, we can draw a card with the effect of the web of life and destiny. We draw one card here, across the spider verse. Okay, let's see. Um, we want to, we want to play the symbiote suit and we can max some effort and then we play symbiote suit now. Let's see, we have three attack and then we need to play miles and then max some effort. Um, I'm not sure how that would play out. Let's see, we play the symbiote suit. We have three attack. Miles can swing again. Okay, we're gonna be short a little bit, but I think we wanna do it anyways. Uh, yeah, because I think that's our best shot at trying to win right here. Okay, yeah, we're a little bit short on damage. Okay, so this card right here is a double resource. If your identity has sustained less than five, actually, okay, wait, wait, is there a way to do this without the symbiote suit? Okay, if we play Miles, okay, he hits for four, Deadpool hits for two, that flips Magneto. We have Katana, and then we can play Maximum Effort, and then this card is Fire. And I think, so Maximum Effort can do six, this card is Fire would do eight. Uh, so that is not enough because that's only 14. Yeah, never mind. Okay, that's not enough, anyways. Hmm. I would love to try to end him here. I think we have to keep the discard's fire. Okay, so, okay, let's just do that. So this would be this self confidence is a double resource because we have sustained less than five damage. We only sustained two damage. This is a double resource when paying for a great card in the power of all of us. So we can play our symbiote suit. There's a, no going back now. Okay, so Deadpool now has a symbiote suit on. Okay, and then what do we want to do? I think we want to play Miles and then maximum effort. We can actually just save that for next turn. Um, okay, let's use, oh, symbiote suit increases all of our basic powers and we get plus 10 hit points. So we go from seven up to 17 here. Okay, and then we want to play Miles, so let's use this as three resources so we can play Miles and Spider-Man. When I just play choose one, let's pick uh, attack so he gets plus two attack for this phase. We're going to swing and hit Magneto for four. That will bring him from six down to two. And then Miles will take a consequence of damage. Deadpool will swing for two to bring Magneto down to zero. And that will flip him over to, or swing for three with the symbiote suit, it doesn't matter anyways. That will flip Magneto over to his final stage where he has steady toughness. Do you each player a face on counter card? And he has 22 hit points. So we're short just a little bit of damage here. Let's exhaust our katana. So take one damage, arm from 17 down 16, and then do two damage to an enemy, and the attack has piercing. So we can remove the tough and hit Magneto for two to bring him from 22 down to 20. And then if we play maximum effort here, the max we can do is 16 damage. Um, I think I definitely do want to play it. 
let's see, how much damage do we want to try to do here? Okay, we're going to be getting two encounter cards from Magneto for a total of three. So that's going to be rough. Uh, okay, let's play the maximum effort. Take any amount of damage up to your remaining hit points. I think hmm, this is our last one. So we don't have any more attack cards in the deck. I think we want to take... Where's our max hit points? Our max hit points um, with this is 17. So we want to have around one hit point left to do sunny damage to Magneto. So why don't we hit him for, let's take six damage. So we're gonna draw from six down to 10 and do six damage to Magneto to bring him from 20 down to uh, 14 here. Okay. And then that will end our turn. Let's ready up and we will keep the discard's fire in our hand. So whenever uh, we draw two hands as a six because of the symbiote suit, then if we end the turn with this card's fire in our hand, then we have to take one damage, so we're drawing from 10 down to nine. And hopefully we can still survive some attacks. So in Magneto's turn, he's gonna add three threat, uh, or four threat to the main scheme that will flip this over. So it's final one. Physical strain is attached to Magneto, so nothing will happen with that, but we get two Magnet counters, which is definitely not good. And it has one threat in here. I really want that card that uh, could stun and confuse him, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it is Magneto's uh, turn after he adds threat to there. Uh, then he's going to attack us. Let's take the attack. So he's hitting with a base of three plus a boost of three. So six damage. That would drop us from nine down to three. Okay, and then with the hazard here, so we take two encounter cards. Oh, actually, wait, first. I forgot, he plays a nine encounter. There's three now. So we discard cards from the counter deck until we get a nine nanic card, like metal shards. Do one damage to each character you control. So we're going to take one, dropping it to two, and then Miles takes one, and then place one mana counter on the main scheme. So we can remove three and then place one. So there would be one left on here. Okay, now we did that. So now we get the two encounter cards from the hazard here. And let's see what happens. First one, an advance. Okay, I don't think we can cancel anyways, right? Um, yeah, we don't. So Magneto is scheming with the base of three plus a boost card of two. So he's gonna scheme for five. This will go up to six. If it hits one more, we lose. We got the M-Top Sentinel with guard. When defeated, give Magneto a tough stats card. And got another minion here. The player who defeats this is confused. Okay. I think that is game. I think we won. Okay. Let's exhaust Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card first. Deadpool has plus one attack with Symbiote Suit. So we're gonna swing for three at the M-Top Sentinel. Miles has two attack, so we're gonna swing for two. That would defeat him, and we need to defeat him because he has guard. When he's defeated, give Magneto a tough status card. And then Miles takes a punch damage, and he is discarded here. Okay, we have like just enough hit points left too, at two. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so let's exhaust Deadpool's Katana. Exhaust it, take one damage, off from two down to one. And then it has piercing to remove tough and do two damage to an enemy, so we're gonna hit Magneto for two. That will bring him from 14 down to 12. And then let's use this as three resources right here so we can play this card as fire. Uh, hero action, do X damage to an enemy where X is equal to the damage you have sustained. Our full hit points with the symbiote suit is 17. So we're gonna hit Magneto for 16 and that will bring him from 12 down to zero. And that is Magneto on expert mode.